Okay, all ready to start? Um, so sit down, get yourself nice and grounded onto the mat. Sit and cross legs if you can. Try and get the sit bones nice and grounded onto the platform that you're sitting on. Lift and roll the shoulder blades down the back. Get a big opening into the chest. Get a relaxation under the shoulders. Back the hands onto the knees. If you prefer to hold onto the knees, that's okay to lift that posture of the body. Lengthen the back of the neck. Close the eyes and focus on the breath. Feel that you're completely resting the mind and body now. Try and close off everything. And allow yourself to come into the room completely. And even everything else that's in the head, just forget about it now for one hour. And just focus on your breath. Relaxing the face completely, relaxing the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyelids, the cheeks, the jaw. Lightly closing the lips and breathing in and out through the nose. Just feeling that breath coming in and out of the nostrils. to that breath, bringing your awareness to how you're feeling right now, just trying to deepen the breath that little bit more, bring the breath right down into the diaphragm. And then completely emptying that breath right out of the body. Keeping the jaw relaxed. Making that space between the teeth to keep that jaw nice and relaxed and soft. Try and make an intention at the start of the class to keep the face and the jaw relaxed. Keeping that mind relaxed. Mind starts to drift under the thoughts of the day. Just forget about it. Let it go. Try and train that mind to relax and close off. Deep breaths right into the belly, feeling that belly, belly lifting away from the spine. And then exhaling all that breath out as the belly pulls in towards the spine. Big deep breath in, filling the whole body. And exhale completely and then that out. Open your eyes.
He's taking the gaze forward. Changing the cross of the legs now, just changing them right in. And then lift up with the right arm, stretch the right arm right up towards the ceiling, really extending it up so that you're feeling it right from the hip, right up to the fingertip. And then take it the left hand down onto the mat and just take it a wee sideways stretch, nice and easy. Just like bending that left arm, keeping that right arm really strong and long to really stretch from the sitting bone right up to the fingertip and stretch into those lats, into the side body, opening out the lower back, opening out the hips. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale back up at the centre again, dropping that right hand down onto the ground, lift the left arm right up, really extending it up towards the ceiling so you feel that stretch out array and really feeling that opening into the, the arms and really stretching and lengthening into the elbows. Breathing in, breathing out, then taking a slight bend over to the, the right, really stretch it right out. So if you haven't done yoga for a while, Make sure that you take it nice and easy. Just do what you can do. Take it nice and easy. The first couple of classes. If you haven't done sort of any sort of exercise for a while, just do what you can do. Just get your body moving. Get these joints open. Keep them strong and healthy. And inhale back up at the center again. Exhale, drop of that left arm down. Lift. Roll the shoulders down, get a big opening into the chest. Taking the hands down by the side of your hips, pressing the fingertips on the ground, you lift the chest. Taking the shoulder blades in together, really broadening the chest. Breathing in, breathing in. Get a big lift in the abdomen, big stretch of the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, turning the palms and hands away from the body. Lift the arms right up to the ceiling, both arms right up. Stretch it right out, really getting that. The fingertips right up, they really extend the side body, front body and front back body, really lengthen it right out. And then exhale, folding forward, taking the hands down just in front of the shins if you can, and then walking the hands slightly further forward. Nothing too much, we're still warming up here. So just taking the arms as far forward as your body will allow, and then just drop the head down in line with the arms if you can. Breathing in, breathing out. Get a nice wee stretch into the lower sacrum, into the hips, into the thighs. Breathing in, breathing out. Just taking it down to wherever you're at at this time. Breathing in, breathing out as you go. And then walking the hands back again, coming right back. Nice and easy. Coming right in, changing the cross of the legs once more, coming right in. Going to get a wee spinal twist this time, lift up with the right arm again, stretch it right up. Take it to the left thigh, lift up the left arm, take it right up and round, drop it onto the ground. Lengthen the front body by pressing the hand into the ground and rotate the front body by pressing the hand onto the thigh. Turning right over that left shoulder, really getting that spinal twist, really wringing out the spine, keeping the spine strong and healthy. Breathing in, breathing out. And exhale back into center. Get the sit bones nice and centered. Get the front body centered. And then lift up with the left arm. Stretch right up to the ceiling. Taking it to the right thigh. Lift up with the right arm. Take it right up and around. Drop it onto the ground. Right in behind your back. Pressing the fingertips into the ground. You lengthen the spine. Press the hand onto the thigh to revolve. Keeping the gaze right over that right shoulder. Really getting that twist into the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. And keep the chin level with the ground, stretching it out. And exhale back into center, length of the legs right out in front now. Open up the backs of those knees. Really feel that stretch into the backs of the legs now. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Cup the fingers and the hands, press the hands of the ground, coming into Dandasta position. Sitting position, making sure the body is L-shaped. Shoulders right over the top of the hips. Legs in line with the hips, stretching it right out. Holding it up, really stretching the spine. And then inhale, lifting the arms really wide, really stretching the fingertips away from each other. Feeling that dynamic action in the arms as you really stretch the arms away, breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, big breath in. 
Exhale, coming forward, really linking the fingers this time, coming right up, really taking those knuckles way forward, and then drop the head down in between the arms, really pulling the shoulder blades apart, really pulling the belly button into the spine, and really rounding the back this time. Really taking those knuckles forward, really feeling that big stretch into the thoracic spine, really opening up those shoulder blades. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Taking the arms wide again, lifting the chest right up, really stretching the spine, taking those arms and hands way beyond the shoulders this time, really opening up the chest, really feeling that big stretch along the chest muscles, breathing in, breathing out, and taking the arms way back, inhaling and exhaling, breathing in, breathing out, and then exhale, coming forward again with the arms, starting to round the back, tightly take the shoulder blades apart, linking the fingers, really lock out the arms, drop the chin to the chest, stretch that upper back, breathe in, breathe out. Big deep breath in and out of the body. Close the eyes once you're in the position so that you can relax the face, relax the mind. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale once more, coming right back up to the chest, taking the arms really wide, taking them way back beyond the shoulders, stretching, open up the chest, really open up that spine, lifting the sternum right up, breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, coming forward with the arms this time, slight bend of the knees, length of the front body, just drop the abdomen down onto the thighs, take up the hands to the feet, drop the head to the shins, stretch that lower back, Stretch the lower sacrum. Just let the head relax. Let the neck relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Big deep breaths in and out of the body. Put that breath right into the belly. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhale again, coming right back up. Length of the legs right out. Give the legs a wee shaking out just to relax them out, breathing in, breathing out. And this time bending up on the right leg, right leg coming right up, taking the foot right into its own sitting bone, left leg coming straight out, really engaging the left leg, pulling the toe up towards your face, really engaging the quad, making sure that leg is working strong. Link the fingers, take hold of the shin, length of the spine. So come from that rounded back, you really lift the sternum right up, lift the crown of the head right up, breathe in, breathe out. Now this time we're going to take the abdomen and the chest right down onto the knee, and just put a wee bit of pressure onto that ankle joint, right into the shin. Breathe in and breathing out, break the weight, taking the chest right onto the thigh. And you should feel it slightly into the back of that hamstring as well. Just holding on to that knee, breathing in, breathing out. And inhale, coming back up really good. Now this time I want you to walk the foot right out to the side, so it's at about a 45 degree angle to the body. Breathing in, breathing out. And this time we're going to lift, take the chest forward to the same position that it was before. So you're avoiding the knee this time and you're coming slightly out to the side. Keeping that left leg really working strong, really working under the hips, really working under the hamstring, really working the mobility of the thigh. Breathing in, breathing out. Dropping the chest down as much as you can. Holding on to the shin to get a wee bit of leverage here. And inhale, back up. Straighten that leg right out, length it right out, bend up the left knee. Left knee coming right up, taking the heel in towards its own sitting bone. Link the fingers, take hold of the shin, get a big length under the spine. Really keeping that big, long, strong spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Now inhale, big lengthening of the belly button. And then exhale, folding down onto that knee, just holding it out. Really pressing in against that foot, right in against the shin. Really feeling it under the quad. Feeling it under that hamstring, making sure that other leg is working strong. Holding and pulling the chest right under the thigh just to wake up those thighs and hips and really put a bit of pressure onto the ankle joint as well. These ankles and feet keep us up all day. We want to keep them healthy and strong. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale back up really good, taking the leg right out. So it's pointing out to about a 45 degree angle. Inhale, lengthen the front body again, big, big stretch of the front body. And this time we're coming forward, right down, same angle onto that leg, but slightly avoiding the thigh. So you're coming down a bit deeper, really working that hamstring, 
really working into the inner groin and thigh, breathing in, breathing out. Holding onto the shin, they pull the body forward, stretch into these joints, feeling it stretching under the lower back, right into the hip, right into the thigh, inhaling and exhaling. And inhale back up again, lift of that leg right out, stretch the right out, give them a wee shake, breathing in, breathing out. This time bend up on the right leg and the left leg, taking it right out to the side, keeping the butt at 45 degree angle, slightly out from the body, taking the inner elbows to the knees, lifting the chest and coming forward, coming right forward, right into those legs and taking the hands on to the shins or under the ankles and pull the body down, stretch into those thighs, into the groins, into the Lower back, breathe in, breathe out. Do what you can do. Inhale, exhale, just really loosening out that lower back, right into the hips, right into the sacrum. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale back up at the center, really good. Now this time I'm going to lean slightly back. I'm going to come a wee bit further forward. Leaning slightly back, taking the hands behind you, turning the fingertips towards the back wall, taking the hands behind you. And this time we're going to drop the knees down to the right and then take them to the left. Just working into those hips, into those thighs that you're just after, give it a wee stretch to. So just dropping it down as far as you can. Take it nice and easy to start. Breathing in, breathing out. Left and right. And then when you're ready, try and take the inner knee and the outer knee right down to the ground. You might come off that knee platform a wee bit, but that's okay. Drop the knees down, right down to one side, right down to the other. Breathing in, breathing out. Try and keep the chest facing forward so that you're getting a bit of a spinal twist. You're really opening out the inner thighs, the inner groins. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling, really working the inner and outer rotation of the hips, keeping those hips Strong and healthy. Breathing in, breathing out. Come and turn me back into center. You may want to drop down a level on your blocks if you're on blocks, or drop down a level onto whatever you're sitting on. Taking the hands really wide this time, taking them right back even further, turn the fingertips right back. And this time we're going to take it a wee bit of a speed up. You work it out nice and gently. Really get the blood flowing in round. We're going to drop down to the left and to the right. Speed it all up, really get that stretch into the spine, really good. Breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three, four, inner and outer knee. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. Sitting onto your platform, length of the legs right out, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Sit in Dandasana, get your breath, length of the legs, push the calves into the ground. Breathing in, breathing out. Really getting those hips nice and strong. This time bending up on both knees, taking the soles of the feet together. Taking hold of the feet, drop the feet down. Uh, really press the feet down on the ground, drop the knees to the ground, as near to the ground as you can. Lifting the chest, lifting the heart, stretching the spine. Barakanasana, really good for the inner groins, really good for the outer hips. Breathing in, breathing out, keeping the mobility and strength of the hips, keeping the blood flowing. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up at the center, taking the knees together, taking one elbow, uh, one arm right round, and then taking the hold of the elbows right in. Really hugging the chest in towards the knees, drop the head down onto the knees. Just really opening up the upper back, really get that stretch into the upper back. Now this time, keeping the arms where they are, keeping a deep hug onto the legs, pull the chest away from the knees, pull the chest away, really feeling that stretch into the upper back, into the upper shoulders, breathing in, breathing out, you're pulling against those arms, and really pulling that chest away from the thighs, let the neck relax, and exhale back in, drop the knees wide again, and the Barakanasta once more, really feeling that Barakanasta really working for you, and this time taking the thumb, to the mound of the big toe, and then turning the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling as much as you can, and feeling that those knees are dropping down that wee bit more, and feeling that you're getting a better stretch into the groins. So turning the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling, dropping the knees down towards the ground. Lifting the chest, really feeling that stretch into those inner hips, inner groins, really working on that flexibility. Breathing in, breathing out. 
and exhale back into center, coming right back up, really good. So this time I'm going to turn slightly to the side here, so that we can show you next what we're doing. So coming to the side, coming right out. So this time we're going to bend up in the right leg. We're going to take the right leg right in underneath, taking it to the side. Now, if you need to keep that platform, keep that platform. We're going to lengthen the left leg right out. So it's a big, big stretch into that hip, into the hip and the thigh. So you're bending up at the knee, coming the knee right in to the side, coming right in, lengthen the leg right out. Inhale, lift the arms right up, stretch it right up. Exhale, folding forward, coming right down over the top of the leg, taking the hand to the foot, to the shin, to the thigh. If this is too much for you, leave it out. If you find that the back of the knee is a bit sore, you could take a towel, roll or fold up the towel, put it right in underneath the knee to take the pressure off the knee. So put it right on and underneath the knee, takes the pre take the pressure off the knee, but it still gets you to work the leg, keep the leg active, active and strong. So you're lengthening up the front body and exhaling, folding forward, coming right down over the top of the leg as best you can and stretching right into that hamstring, really opening it up, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one, right up at the center, coming right back up, length of that leg right out, stretching it right out, take it to the, the other side if you need it, bend up on that left knee, take it the left foot right in behind, take it the knee right down onto the ground, get yourself as comfy as possible, feeling that stretch into the shin, right into the hip, right into the thigh, if you feel the knee is very painful, back off, take it away, take the, the thigh, take the calf away from the knee joint, put a wee towel in underneath if the knee's sore, Back off, leave it out. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, folding forward, right over the top of the leg again, dropping right down. Trayanuka Pada, Pashi Mutanasana. Forward bend over one leg, really stretching into those hamstrings, lengthening the spine. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Lengthen both legs right out in front again. Stretch it right out, press the, the sit bones into the ground, lift the both arms right up. Inhale, exhale, folding right over the top of those legs, come on into Pashi Mutanasana, forward bend, drop the head down. Breathing and breathing out. Want to get these hamstrings well woke up today. Really press the calves into the ground, really press the backs of knees towards the ground, and really stretching into those hamstrings. Holding it here for five, four, three, two and one coming back up really good bending up at the knees again both knees right up this time taking hold of the front of the shins lift the chest lift the heart breathing in breathing out really good stretch it right out give those hands down to me rest breathing in breathing out and lengthen the legs away give them a wee shake out back and forward and then this time make a big circles with the ankles so really making those big circles coming right around with the ankles so that you're feeling that you're really working those ankle joints, getting the blood flowing in round, really pressing it right out, forward and back, side to side, then take it at the other direction, getting those synovial fluids in round those ankles to keep the ankles strong and healthy. We're using them in everyday life, so we want to make sure that they're keeping in good work and order, breathing in, breathing out. Really good. Now this time we're coming right up. We're coming on to our squat position, right down, straight into it today. So these knees and the hips and the thighs is all nice and warmed up. Coming right down, just dropping the, the forearms onto the knees, dropping the buttocks down towards the ground. Do what you can do, stay where you're at. Breathing and breathing out. So right down to the feet, right down to those ankles, right onto those hips, breathing and breathing out. Just resting it here to start off. Now this time we're coming right over the top of the knee, the right knee, and we're going to come forward, taking the weight of the body right onto the knee, feeling the knee coming right over the top of the toe, feeling the flexion into that ankle, breathing in. So we're going to take a wee sway, nice easy, we sway back and forward, taking the weight right over that shin bone, really feeling it stretching into the Achilles, right into the calf, working the flexibility of that ankle, breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, we're turning the other direction, taking the chest right towards the left knee, coming forward and back, really working deep into those ankle joints, right into those hip joints, right into the knee joint, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and then exhale, really good. 
forward and back, really work on it nice and easy, nothing too much. Do what your body allows, breathe in and breathe in. And then inhale, coming back, taking both hands down and underneath or onto the leg and between the leg, onto the ground and between the legs, holding it here, just rest it out here, feeling those hips nice and strong. And then this time, taking the hands into prayer position, taking the hands into the heart, taking the elbow to the inside of the knee, and then open those knees that wee bit wider. Breathing and breathing out, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, stretching right into that lower back, right into those inner groins, and into those inner thighs. Breathing and breathing out. And then exhale, dropping the hands down, dropping the knees down onto the ground. I know, right straight into those wee joints today. So pressing the knees into the ground, pressing the hands into the ground, taking a wee sway back and forward into those wrists. We'll give the lower body a wee bit of a rest now. We'll work the upper body, taking the knee, the head and shoulders way forward, coming back and forward, really working the, the wrist joint now, building strength and mobility into the wrists, keeping those wrists strong and healthy, <laughs> breathing in, breathing out, inhaling and exhaling. We okay there? I'm feeling hearing a bit of background noise here. Is everybody all right? Uh, we'll see. Sorry, but somebody was pressing the hands in, coming forward and back. Really get that chest way forward, dropping it forward, dropping the pelvis down. Really feeling the weight of the body coming right onto the arms now. Really feeling those wrists. Really building strength and mobility there. Breathing in, breathe it out. And coming back, drop the buttocks down on the heels, drop the elbows to the ground, drop the forehead to the ground, rest it out. Breathe in, breathe out. Dropping the buttocks right down, really feeling that you're working into the front of those knees again. Right into the thighs, breathing in and breathing out. And inhale back up again, press the hands onto the mat. This time, take the right foot in between the knees or in between the hands taking the back knee make sure the back knee and the back foot just really ground it coming forward and back with that knee again really working under these joints get them all opened out get them all warmed up ready for when we get into your standing poses all the joints are nice and warmed up less likelihood of injury breathing in breathing out knee comes way forward beyond the toes and coming way back Really kick into the hamstring as you come back as well. Breathing in, breathing out. Mobility and strength, really good. Cup the fingers and the hands, taking them slightly forward than the foot. Curl the back toe under, lifting up with the back leg. Coming right up, still coming forward and back. Now stretching right into the Achilles, right into the calf, right into the toes of the back foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Movement, keeping that nice fluid movement in the body, keeping all those joints healthy and strong. Breathing in, breathing out. Really good. Then staying into your uh, lunge position, pressing the left hand into the ground, lift the right arm right up, turning right around to the right, lift the chest, lift the heart, take the gaze towards the top hand, open up that chest, open up the heart, and really keep that back leg strong, holding it up for five, four, three, two, and one, dropping the hand down, drop the back knee down, take that right foot back, take the left foot forward, same thing, other side, coming forward and back, really good, coming way forward with the knee, coming way back with the knee, breathing in, breathing out, trying to straighten out the leg as much as you can on the way back, try and keep the abdomen adhered to the inner groin, inner thigh, so that you're really keeping that body glued to the leg, and really feeling that you're stretching into those joints, front of the shin, back of the shin, calves, everything getting blood flowing around them, breathing and breathing out. And then cup the fingers and the hands, taking them right up to the top of the mat, curl the back to under, lift up at the back knees, still coming back and forward, really working into the back of the Achilles, coming right up on the toe of that back leg, breathing and breathing out, stretching it all out, getting that movement. Stretching it all out, breathing and breathing out, inhaling and exhaling. And then taking the right hand down onto the mat, lift the left arm right up, stretching right out. You open up the chest, open up the heart, breathe and breathe out. Keep the buttocks down nice and low, start to wake up those hips, 
Breathing and breathe it out. Hold it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hands down. Drop the back knee down. Taking the, the knees right back. Taking the knees as wide as the mat. Taking the buttocks down onto the heels. Lengthen the arms forward. Drop the forehead to the mat. Breathing and breathing out. Really extending the arms forward. Try and keep the inner wrists off the mat. Try and get the buttocks as close to the heels as you possibly can. Really stretching into those quads, into those thighs and hips that you've just warmed up. Breathing and breathing out. Inhale, coming back up into center, pressing the hands onto the mat again. Press them right into your downward facing dog. We're going straight in, or we're going into downward facing dog, but we're going to take it very slowly getting in there. Pressing the hands onto the mat, make sure the wrists is underneath the shoulders. Make sure the knees are underneath the hips and make sure the knees are hip width apart and the hands are shoulder width apart. Curl the toes under in the feet and lift the knees one inch off the mat, just one inch. Really engaging your core, really working your abdominal strength. Holding it here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Drop it down, nice and easy. Shake the feet, get the toes a wee relaxing out. And then curl the toes under again, pressing the hands onto the ground, lift the knees one inch off the mat. This time, take the abdomen to the thighs. Stay in here, keeping the shin bones level with the ground. Breathing in, breathing out, holding it here for 10, nine, eight. Really work on those joints. Seven, six, five. Lock out the arms. Four, three, two, one, drop the knees down, rest it out, come back into your table, take a wee sway back and forward, make a wee circle with the chest, breathe it in, breathe it out, really good, inhale, exhale, curl the toes under again, get them nice and deeply curled under, press the hands onto the mat, lift the knees off the mat, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, straight back, belly to the thighs for five, Four, three, two, one. Lift the buttocks right up towards the ceiling. Coming right into your downward facing dog. Keep the heels off the ground. Keep, lift the hips as high up towards the ceiling as you can. Take the chest back towards the thighs and hold it for 10, nine, eight. Really up high with the hips. Five, four, three, two, and one, dropping the heels down, dropping the knees down, drop the elbows down, and relax. Rest it here, breathing and breathing out. So really go down to your downward facing dog in the stages, really works all those different muscles, really build strength into the muscle. Breathing and breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, back up again. Same thing, coming into your downward facing dog. And coming into dog in this position helps you to get the lengthening of the spine, the lengthening of the hamstrings, lengthening of the legs. So rather than just rolling up into your down dog, you're really lengthening that spine, getting the abdomen onto the thighs and the way down. So pressing the hands into the mat, curl the toes under, knees one inch off the mat, abdomen to the thighs, buttocks to the ceiling, and lift up those heels as high as you can, lift up those hips as high as you can. Taking the chest back towards the thighs, taking the head in between the arms, and really stretching into your downward facing dog. Lifting up in those heels, breathing and breathing out. Now here we're gonna breathe in and out as we drop the heels to the ground, and inhale, lift them up. Really work on the metatarsals of the feet, really work on the strength of the ankles. Right up onto the toes if you can, coming right up for five. One, right down. Two, right down. Three, right down with the heels. Four, right down. Five, really good. Bend the knees, take the knees as wide as the mat. Take the buttocks to the heels. Lengthen the arms down. Feel all those heat joints nice and warmed up. All ready to rock. Breathing and breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing and breathing out. Now this time we're going to walk the hands right back towards the knees, keeping the knees wide, 
try and drop the buttocks down onto the heels and really coming right under those thighs, right under those hips and really feeling that you're stretching right down onto the heels. Now, if this isn't possible for you, take a wee cushion, put the cushion in underneath the buttocks onto the heels. If that's not possible, leave it out. Breathe in, breathe out. Put a couple of cushions in underneath if you can. So really working on the quads, really working on the knees, really working on lifting the upper body right up. Lifting the arms right up, stretch it right up. Breathing in, breathe it out. Working these knee joints, working these hips, working the thighs and re-engaging your core. Lift the chest, lift the heart, take the gaze towards the ceiling. Breathing in, breathe it out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Taking the hands back and down, press the fingertips of the ground, lift the chest, lift the heart. Taking that widening of the chest once more. Breathing in, breathe it out. Now this time, walk the knees in together. Staying in this position, coming right down into your beer after the legs, really resting the sit bones right onto the heels if you can. If not, use your blocks. Don't be, you're in your own, nobody knows, nobody sees. Do what you need to do to get into a comfortable position. One block, two block, one cushion, two cushion, whatever you have, sit it right down. Lifting the chest, lifting the heart, taking the arms right out in front, linking the fingers, turning the palms and hands away from the body, locking out the arms. Keeping the gaze towards the knuckles, taking the gaze right up with the knuckles, really good. Then taking the head beyond the arms, lock it out, work those shoulders, work that upper body strength. Really pulling the belly button down towards the spine, try not to have the belly coming right out, big, big stretch. Try and tuck the tailbone under, try and really pull those side ribs in and really stretching that spine. For five, four, three, two and one dropping the arms down coming right back turning the palms of hands forward and this time if you can drop the fingers down one level coming right down so the other little fingers at the bottom just to change the cross in the or the grip of the hands lengthen the arms right out again same thing really lengthen the arms right out keep the gaze towards the knuckles inhale keeping it right up really lifted right up really stretching the front body and then take the head beyond the arms again, locking out those arms, coming into your Virasana in Parvatasana, breathing in, breathing out, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, holding it right up for five, four, big strength in the core, three, really tighten the belly, two, and one, really good, dropping the arms down, dropping the hands down, relax the shoulders, give the arms a wee relax, breathe in, breathe out, Taking the hands forward, taking the cushion away. If you had a cushion on underneath, take the knees to hip with the part, coming right into your downward facing dog. This will feel lovely after that. Get a nice wee stretch into the backs of the legs, right into the knees, really lifting up the chest or lifting up the hips and dropping the chest back towards the thighs. Let the head relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling and exhaling. Holding it here, really working the backs of the legs, really working into all those joints, building that strength. Now this time, lift up of the right leg, right leg, right up towards the ceiling. Bending the knee, turn the pelvis into the right and really take the chest right out to the right, opening up those hips, breathing and breathing out. Hold it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Locking out the arms, taking the gaze and underneath that right arm. Holding it here for five, Four, three, two, and one. Drop that leg down, really good. Inhale, left leg coming right up. Bend the knee, turn the pelvis to the left, turning the upper body and underneath that left arm, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping that foot down, drop it right in. Get into your downward facing dog again, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, walk the feet in one step, keeping them hip width apart. This time we're going to work the upper body strength. Inhale, exhale, lift up with the right hand, take it to the left calf, taking the body in underneath that left arm, holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Drop that hand down, taking that left hand to the right calf. Taking the gaze in underneath that right arm, holding it here for five, four, three, two, 
one, drop the hand down, really good, hold it here. Walk the feet back that one step again, back into your normal dog position, breathing and breathing out, working that upper body strength. Now this time we're taking the head over the hands, come on way, way forward, right in your plank position, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, lifting the buttocks right up again, nice and slowly, working these muscles, the slower you work them, the harder they have to work. Lift the chest, or lift the, the hips right up, taking the chest back towards the thighs. Inhale, forward into your plank again, really work it, really work on that core, really tighten up the belly for five, four, three, two, one. Right up the hips again. Right down with the heels again. Really work the backs of the legs. Really work the arms. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Back into your plank. Hold it here for five, four. Head and shoulders way forward. Three, two, one. Drop the knees down. Drop the buttocks down onto the heels. Drop the elbows to the ground. Rest the wrists. Rest the shoulders. Give the fingers when you wriggle them back and forward. Give the wrists when you wriggle them back and forward. And rest the arms, rest the legs, rest the abdomen, and rest the head. Breathe in, breathe out. Focus on the breath. Get your recovery. Get that big deep breath into the belly. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, back up in the center again. Press the hands onto the mat once more. Come on right in. This time lengthen away the right leg. Stretch the right leg right out. Really lengthen it right back towards the back end of the mat. Then drop the foot, the sole of the foot down onto the ground. Keep the front, the front knee and the back heel in line. Pressing the left hand into the mat. Lift the right arm right up. Coming into your modified side plank. Breathing in, breathe it out. Really stretching it here. Really lift it right up. Breathe it in. Now press the sole of the foot onto the ground. Press the hand onto the ground. See if you can lift that left knee off the ground, right off, really good. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee down, nice and gently. Drop it down, hold it here. Breathe again, breathe it out. We're nearly done on this side, not quite. Inhale, exhale, length of the arms right up. Get the hand in a good position, make sure that Hand is right, the wrist is right underneath the shoulder. Breathe it in, keep your balance, keep your focus. Keep that right foot really grounded onto the mat. Inhale, exhale, lift the knee off again. And this time, see if you can take the leg right out in front, right out. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee down, drop the hand down, rest it out. Breathe in, breathe out. So if it's not possible for you to lift the knee or lift the leg, you stay in the position of the knee down. So the start off position is the easy one. Lifting the knee is the intermediate one. And lifting the leg is the professional one. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Press it right down. Press the hands on the ground. Get the hands really grounded. Lengthen away in the other leg. I've just turned around, so you should lengthen away in the left leg. Left leg's coming right out. Turn in the abdomen, turn the thigh, turn the hips right round to the left. Drop the sole of the foot down onto the ground. Front heel, back knee in line. And, uh, wrist and shoulder in line. Really lift up in that left arm. Stretch it right up. Open in the chest. Really get that a big extension as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. Really opening up the chest. Breathe again, breathe it out. Press the foot into the ground. Press the hand into the ground. Lift the knee off if you can. Lift it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Stretch it right down. Drop the hand down. Drop the knee down. Rest it out if you need to. Keep the knee here if you don't want to go any further. Just keep the hand and the foot really grounded. Just still working the oblique muscles. This is what we're working under those obliques. Getting the, stre getting the strength built up into the side body. Breathing in, breathing out. So this time we're going for the leg up. If you're going there, come with me. Press the feet, foot under the ground, press the hand under the ground, lift the knee off and take the leg out for five, four, three, 
two, and one. Bend of the knee, drop the knee down, hold it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good, really put, using that upper body strength there, you lift it all up. Inhaling and exhaling. Get your breath here. Breathing in, breathing out. This time, length of the weight in the right leg. Right leg coming right back. Right leg coming right back. Drop the sole of the foot down onto the ground again. Pressing the hand into the ground. Lifting that right arm right up. Breathing in, breathing out. Holding it here for five. Four, really lifting the waist up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Now this time, return the palm of the hand towards the upper part of the mat. And then lengthen the arm right up to stretch right into those obliques. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down, drop that hand down. Coming to the other side, breathing in, breathing out. Lengthen away in that left leg, drop the sole of the foot down onto the ground. Lift up in the left arm, stretch it right up, get the sole of it really grounded. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Turning the palm of the hand to the upper part of the, the mat and then lengthen the arm right up. Really stretching into that banana shape with the body and really working your core. Right out, breathe in. Stretching into the side body, really lengthening the finger right up towards the top of the room, pressing the sole of the foot into the ground for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hand down, right down onto the ground again, pressing the hands in. Have we rock back and forward, give those wrists a wee wriggling. If you need it, maybe take it the chest over the right wrist and the left wrist, taking it the other direction. Breathing in, breathing out, inhaling and exhaling. Now this time, curl the toes under on the feet, pressing the hands under the mat. You can turn around this direction. Press the hands under the mat, coming straight into your down dog. Same position, same way as we've been doing it earlier. Lift the knees off the mat, abdomen to the thighs, buttocks to the ceiling, heels to the ground. Get into your downward facing dog, get a good stretch, get a big opening into the spine. Lift up on the right leg, stretch the right leg right up to the ceiling. Bend the knee, take the foot in between the hands into your lunge position. Take the hands onto the thigh, really strengthen up that back leg. Lift the arms right up towards the ceiling. Stretch it right into your crescent pose for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the hands down, rock back and forward. Front leg right up and back, stretch it right up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, left leg coming right up to the ceiling. Bend the knee, take the knee in towards the face, foot in between the hands. Hands on to the thigh. Push the thigh away to get the upper body upright. Arms right up, stretch it right out. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hands down, rock back and forward. Front leg right up and back, stretch it right up. And exhale. Drop it down, inhale, right leg, right up. Bend the knee, knee in toward the face, foot in between the hands, straight up into your crescent once more. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands together, coming right into the heart. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Turning right over that right leg, coming right over to the right. Drop the left elbow to the right knee. Press the palms of hands together, press that elbow into the knee and really work, work that back leg. Breathing in, breathing out, holding it here. Pull the abdomen around, pull the chest right round. You face the right side of the room. Breathing in, breathing out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Taking the arms right up again into crescent pose. Lift the chest, lift the heart. And exhale, drop the hands down. Rock back and forward. Front leg right up and back. Stretch it right up. Exhale, drop that foot down. Inhale, left leg. Bend the knee, foot in between the hands, coming right up. Inhale, right up into your crescent, stretch it right out. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to heart center, coming right out, lift the heart with the hand. Turn right around to the left, take that right elbow to the left knee, press the palm of the hands together, really open up that chest, 
Really knock out that leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Back into center. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Stretch it right up. And exhale, drop the hands down. Rock back and forward. Front leg. Right up and back. Stretch it right up. Exhale, drop it down. Left, right leg, right up. Stretch it right up. Bend the knee, take the foot in between the hands again. This time, drop the back heel down onto the ground. Walk the leg nice and far forward at the front. Nice wide distance between the front leg and the back. And coming right up into your warrior two. Lengthen in the spine. Lift in the chest. Take the gaze through the middle finger of the front hand. Really lock out that body. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Take it the right hand, right out to the right. Lift up on the arms, stretch right up into your warrior one. Drop down deeper. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it both hands down to the ground. Rock back and forward. Front leg right up and back. Stretch it right up. And exhale, dropping it down. Inhale, left leg right up to the ceiling. Take the foot in between the hands, right into the middle of the mat. Drop the back heel down onto the ground. Front heel, back arch and line. Inhale, right up into your warrior two. Other side, inhale, exhale. Get your breath here, get your focus. Make sure the knee stays over the top of the shin. Make sure you're lengthening the tailbone down towards the mat. Really lifting the spine for five, four, three, two, and one. Taking that left hand right out to the left. Really good. Lift the both arms right up towards the ceiling. Taking the abdomen right facing the left side of the room. Drop it down deeper into your warrior one. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping the hands down. Rock back and forward. Front leg right up and back. Stretch right up to the ceiling. And exhale. Drop it down. Bend the knees. Take the knees as wide as the mat. Take the toes together. Drop the buttocks down on the heels. Drop the elbows to the ground. And relax. Get your breath. Get your focus. Get your batteries charged. Inhale. Exhale. Big deep breath into the belly. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And inhale again, coming back up. Batteries all charged, ready to go again. Press the hands under the mat, really spreading the fingers. Get a good firm foundation in the hands. Curl the toes under, knees off the mat. Abdomen to thighs, buttocks to the ceiling, heels to the ground. Really press the hands and the feet under the ground. Coming into your downward facing dog, really get that stretch into the spine. Stretch into the legs, into the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. All working here, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, lift up the right leg, stretch the right leg right up, bend the knee, take the foot in between the hands, land in the middle of the mat, try and drop the back heel down onto the ground, front heel back arching line, coming straight up into straight legs, really work on those straight legs, really lifting the crown of head up towards the ceiling, really lengthening the tailbone, and really stretch into that spine, inhale, exhale, coming right over that right leg, drop the hand down onto the shin, Open the chest, open the heart, lift it right up. Stretch it into your trikonasta triangle pose. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Back up in the center, coming right back up. Taking that right hand right out to the right. Really good, stretching it right out. Then for the chest, lift the heart. Lift up on the back heel, coming right on to the toes of the back foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep that straight leg, turning right round. Really keeping that balance. Turning right round to the right. Breathing in, breathing out. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, 
and one back at the center lift the arms right up exhale drop the hands down rock back and forward front leg right up and back stretch it right up and exhale drop it down inhale left leg coming right up bend the knee take the foot in between the hands coming right up drop the back heel down onto the ground straighten out the legs of the way up come right into your trikonasana position breathe again and breathing out come right over the left leg drop the hand down onto the shin lift the chest lift the heart really open up that spine holding it here for five four three two and one come on right back up at the center turning right round to that left side again breathing and breathing out lift up at the back heel keeping the legs strong and straight turning the upper body right round to the left breathe and breathe out hard to keep the balance here really work on the back leg here holding it here for five four straight legs two i know you're bending your legs three two and one come on back in the center lift it right up bend the front knee drop the hands down rock back and forward front leg right up and back stretch it right up exhale drop it down drop the feet down onto the ground get them hip with the part lengthen it right back into your downward facing dog inhaling and exhaling and then inhale take the head forward coming into your plank position right into that plank breathe in breathe out Pressing those hands on the ground, really engaging your core. You got it. Inner elbows facing forward, bending the elbows, coming into your chaturanga. Forward, coming down for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Did I tell you you could bend the knees if you need to bend the knees? Oh, forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold it here for five, four, three, two and one drop down onto the ground lengthen the arms right out in front drop the forehead to the mat rest the body walk the feet right back walk the arms way forward rest it out big deep breath in big deep breath out And then taking your hands back, just level with the top of the shoulders, fingertips level with the top of the shoulders. Take a big roll of the shoulder blades in and down the back, taking the elbows in against the side ribs. Lengthen away in the right leg and the left leg. Coming into your cobra pose, lift, peeling the chest off the ground. Coming right up, taking the gaze forward. Really working into your nice, easy back bend. Really lifting that chest right off the ground. Working the strength of the lower back. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down, taking the elbows wide, turn the neck and head to the right. Big breath in and out of the body now. <clears throat> And then inhale this time, turn the face, the forehead down towards the ground, taking the hands just outside the feet this, or outside the face this time, pressing the hands into the ground, coming right back up, pressing the ground away from me, lift right up to the chest, coming into your seal pose. Really get that big stretch into the back, really relaxing your buttocks here, relaxing the legs, lifting the crown of head up towards the ceiling and locking out those arms. Holding it here, really working that back mobility, back strength, stretching your abdominal organs, keeping the abdominal organs healthy. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, turning the inner elbows forward, drop the elbows down onto the ground. Coming into your sphinx pose now, making sure the elbows are right underneath the knees. Lifting the crown of head up, really working into that. The lumbar spine now, really getting that stretch, keeping the spine healthy, keeping the back healthy. Back bends are really good for the back, especially if you have tightness in the back. 
or any back pain if your back bends in. Breathing in, breathing in. And then if you can, press the hands under the ground, lift the elbows off again, come right into your sphinx again, or into your seal pose. Lift the chest, lift the heart. And then exhale, drop it right down, take the chest right down to the ground, take the elbows wide, turn the neck and head to the left, and relax every muscle in the body now. Resting it all out. And inhale, taking the hands, just shoulder height, bending up at the knees, press the hands under the ground and roll over the top of the knees, taking the legs forward and lying down into your Savasana pose, relaxation pose, taking a pillow on behind the head and neck, rest it out and just rest yourself here. Completely close it all off, completely rest the mind. Very important part of the class. A lot of people tend to leave this out, rush away, rush into that bad, mad world out there. Take the time to do your savasana after your class. Take the time to relax the mind and body after that movement. Just five minutes of completely closing off the head. Forget about all those chores you have to do today. Forget about all those jobs you have to do. Just relax the mind for five minutes.
So when these are ready, if you're coming up with me, just bend up with the right leg, pull the right knee under the chest, pull it in nice and tight. Try and take it slightly out to the right of the chest to pull it in. Just make a big circle for the, the ankles, the toes, just to really distance the that ankle joint. Just release it all out. And then exhale, stretch that leg away, inhale, other leg, coming right in. Pull it in nice and tight. Releasing the lower back, releasing those hips. And then exhale, stretch it away, inhale, both knees, coming right in. Pull them right into the chest. And then start to make a big circles with the knees. Just massaging and opening up the lower back. Pulling the knees in, taking the circles one direction. In the other. And then dropping the feet down onto the mat. Drop the knees down to the right, roll over onto your right side. Just have a wee pause here. When you're ready, press the left hand of the mat. Push yourself up until sitting. Thank you very much, folks. Have a wonderful Saturday. It's going to be a good day, so enjoy it. Namaste. Namaste, William. Thank you very Namaste, much. Anne. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Bye, Thank everybody. You, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, William. Cheerio. Bye. Bye, everybody.